At first glance, electric scooters may not seem like they are for everyone. However, when you consider the many benefits they offer, it's easy to see why they are such a popular way to get around. Plus, riding an electric scooter can actually be quite enjoyable. In this video, we'll take a look at some top adult electric scooters on the market. Stay tuned for the next post, where we'll explore electric scooters for kids and adults. To find out more information and updated price of the products we have mentioned, be sure to check the links in the description below. Like this video, comment below, and don't forget to subscribe for future updates. Without further delay, let's get started with the list. At number 5 on our list is the Segway 9Bot. This electric scooter is top-notch, and it's one of the best and fastest electric scooters we've ever tested. The 300-watt motor may be slightly underpowered, though, because it isn't as powerful as the motor on the older Ninebot ES1+, Plus, but still produces enough speed to feel in control. The Ninebot F30 has the largest battery range out of all the electric scooters we tested, but you'll need to charge it up more than other scooters because the F30 has a slower top speed. We'd found that the scooter was easy to fold and carry, though it's a bit heavy, and it has a one-second folding time. The scooter's somewhat bulky design means it doesn't fold flat, but it's compact enough to fit in the trunk of most cars. The Ninebot F30 is a remarkable machine. It easily carves your way through a variety of terrain, and it feels amazingly nimble. The Ninebot F30 is a tour de force of engineering, and it may be the best, most versatile electric scooter on the market. There's little to dislike about the Ninebot F30, and with a recent price drop, it's a fantastic deal. This Segway Ninebot electric scooter has all of the features and performance of larger electric scooters that have a hefty price tag attached. Up next in fourth place is the Swagtron SG5 Swagger 5. The Swagtron Swagger 5 Boost is a commuter's dream. Its 300-watt motor is powerful enough to carry you easily up to 18 mile per hour, and it's fairly silent. It's lightweight, and its battery life is about 11 miles per charge, which is plenty if you're just commuting or going shopping. It's one of the most compact folding scooters we looked at, and it's small enough to fold up in your bag or in the trunk of your car. The wheels, tires, and motor are all sturdy enough to stand up to daily use, and the company has a good reputation. The Swagger 5 Boost weighs 25 pounds, so it's moderately heavy for a compact folding scooter, but it's much less cumbersome than an electric bicycle, and it's got a little heft to it, so it's less likely to tip over during travel or storage. The Swagtron Swagger 5 Boost is light enough to carry. The scooter is easy to fold and unfold, and it's light enough that you don't have to hold it in place while folding. The Swagtron SG5 Swagger 5 Boost is the company's newest model, packing a slightly larger motor and upgraded battery into a lighter, more compact package. The Swagtron SG5 Swagger 5 Boost is the best electric unicycle scooter for commuters because of its safe, smooth, and simple operation. At number 3 we have GoTrax Max Ultra. The S-Scootered Max Ultra, as you might have guessed, is incredibly spacious and super smooth. We unanimously put it at the top of our list. It's light enough to carry around all day, and small enough to fit in the trunk of a car without a hassle. Its large 10-inch pneumatic rubber tires can absorb bumps and potholes, so the ride is smooth and consistent. It handled pretty well on pavement, gravel, and grass, though given the size and weight, we found that it handled best on pavement. It goes up hills with no problem, even steep hills, but be warned. When you cruise down hills on this thing, it's like riding a snowmobile. It weighs about 170 pounds, so if you do have a problem, you're going to feel it. The front brake foot pedal does an excellent job slowing you down, though we found that we found ourselves leaning back on the end of the scooter, which didn't feel comfortable. The foot brake also does a wonderful job of stopping the scooter, but like most foot brakes on electric scooters, it takes some time getting used to. The GoTrax Max Ultra is one of the best electric scooters we tested because of its powerful motor, long battery life, and rugged build. The scooter is a joy to ride though, and just about the best commuter e-scooter we've tried. At number 2 on our list is the Segway Ninebot Max. 
The Ninebot Max is an affordable electric kick scooter that, while it isn't as refined or feature-rich as more expensive high-end scooters, its large 10-inch pneumatic tires and 350-watt motor set it apart. And it's the only electric scooter in this guide that's designed primarily for commuting at a real-world pace, not riding leisurely around the neighborhood or on the beach. Indeed, the Max can easily keep up with traffic or light-footed pedestrians on busy city sidewalks or on less congested roads. At 18.6 mile per hour, it's pretty fast for an electric scooter, but it's also quiet enough for city riding. The pedals have a three-position lock mode, which lets you lock the pedals to keep them from rotating while you're riding, which is a nice feature if you go off-road. The scooter also has adjustable height handlebars and a swivel seat, so you can ride sitting or standing, making it easier to hop on and off the scooter. It's 25-mile range, even if you're riding at a moderate, rather than fast, speed is the lowest in this guide, but it's still more than enough to cover most commutes. The Segway 9 Butt Max electric kick scooter is definitely in a class of its own. And finally, the number one on our list is the InMotion S1. The S1 electric scooter is an impressive piece of engineering. It's big, strong, and fast with a 1,000-watt motor capable of hauling our 300-pound tester over most hills with ease. It cruises at 18.6 mile per hour, which makes it one of the quickest scooters in our test group. It's also extremely quiet, which is a big plus for city riding. The suspension, though effective, can be felt on sharp bumps, which can lead to an uncomfortable ride. The S1's biggest weakness is its relatively light weight, which makes it difficult to stand upright on. The S1 can be folded up for easy storage and transportation, but doing so requires a bit of careful maneuvering and assembly each time. The mobile chargers that come with the scooter are not particularly fast, either. As the S1's battery life is relatively short, the charger needs to be plugged in overnight to charge completely. This might not have been an issue for shorter commutes, but for overnight trips, you'll probably want to plug into an electrical outlet. The S1 is a serious piece of engineering, and it's perfect for adults and guys who weigh at least 200 pounds. The S1 is a sturdy, well-made scooter that is easy to use. You will find all the links of these products in the description below. Thanks for watching this video, don't forget to hit the like button and share with your friends. And if you are new to the channel, then subscribe and hit the bell icon for future updates.